Hello, everyone. Welcome to this webinar on updating a resume with MIFA Pathway. My name is Asia Stupart, and I am the MIFA Pathway Program Coordinator. Today, we'll spend about 15 minutes talking about updating a resume with MIFA Pathway. We'll dig into the profile details section, as well as the resume builder within MIFA Pathway. MIFA Pathway is a free and interactive platform for, grades, for students in grades six through 12 that allows them to plan for post-secondary success. So here we are on the mesapathway.org website. I'm going to click on, I am a student. So um, the great thing about Mesa Pathway is that if a student does not have a login, they can create a new account by clicking register here. And the registration entails two forms. The first page is just basic information like first name, last name, date of birth, um, the city or town the school is in, as well as the school that the student attends. The next form for the registration process allows the student to create a username, a password, select security questions, and also answers to those questions so that they will be able to remember um, their information once they log in to their MISA Pathway account. But for the sake of this webinar, I'm going to sign in to my test account. Perfect. So here we are logged into my test account under Zoe. And here we have Zoe is a ninth grade student. Here we have the student dashboard. The dashboard serves as a repertoire of activities and um, actions that the student can take. They can even pick up from where they left off. They can see, like update your profile, update your resume and get to know yourself, create a course plan, just a variety of actions that they can take. They can also view the um, progress gauge on each of these activities. So a student can see, you know, when was the last time that they were active completing different activities here on the dashboard. We also have this featured video library. Um, prior to COVID, we participated in interviewing um, students across the Commonwealth at different high schools to find out really how are they using MISA Pathway, how is it helping them as they are planning for post-secondary success. And it was a very exciting and inspiring video campaign that we were able to participate in, and we hope to be able to do, continue doing that later on in the future. Students also see on the dashboard featured scholarships that they can apply to. Um, they can view um, information about the scholarship, the amount, deadline, and learn more. All right. So for the sake of this webinar, we're going to spend time on profile details and then the resume builder. The first section is profile details. So a student will want to be able to come here and fill out the My Profile section because it'll help them begin organizing and building their resume. So all of these components here at the top serve as a blueprint for information that we will later on find on our resume, all right? So the first section is personal information. A student will want to provide personal information about themselves. They're name, of course, date of birth, um, email, phone, year of graduation, so on and so forth. Once they have done that, they'll move on to the next tab, which is school. So here students can add any um, school that they currently attend. They can also add in any previously attended schools as well as their um, college coursework if they've taken any. 
So for my test account, I put that Zoe um, has, has took a class, college coursework class in marketing. And I put in their college and the course date and students can really add in and edit and remove any component of the My Profile Details section, which is very nice. Moving on to the next section is academics. So one of my favorite things about MISA Pathway is that it's very student driven. So for example, with the academic section, students can add in information about their GPA, about their test scores, uh, SAT scores, ACT scores, as well as their TOEFL scores. Students can add in any subject test that they've taken, the, school, the score, and as well as the date that they've taken that um, exam. The students can hover over to the edit button right here and easily edit or add or delete any information here on the My Profile um, section. Very easy. We can continue on to activities. So students will wanna to come to the activities section and add any activities that they have participated in. So for my test account, I put in actual activities that I participated in when I was in high school. So for example, I participated in basketball, I did yearbook committee and also um, publication team also. Again, students can add, edit and remove any activity that they do not want to show up on their profile or maybe they wanna make edits to something on here. They can easily do that by clicking the edit button. Maybe, you know, I didn't participate in basketball in ninth grade, but I did in 10th, 11th and 12th and I did it the school year and I plan on not continuing in college. I can hit no and detail the position held, description, all of that great information. And we're going to want to save it. And let's say you know, a student wants to add in a new um, activity. They can hover over to the add new button and easily add in any type of activity from this very extensive um, drop down menu. So moving on to the next section, honors and awards. So this section allows a student to notate any honors and awards that they may have received, whether it's National Honor Society, um, Most Valuable Player, Honor Roll, the students can really add in anything that they might have received. You can add a new one, for example. You can put in to social studies honor society if you wanted to. You can put in the activity. You can describe the award and also put in the grades that we were involved in. Okay, moving on to the next section skills and strengths. So, the great thing about the skills and strengths section is that the student can choose up to eight of their top skills and strengths that they identify with the most. So whether that's ranging from leadership to problem solving, a student can deselect and select any skill or strength that relates to them the most. So perhaps um, student you know, may feel communication is their strength, but problem solving isn't. They can deselect problem solving and maybe put in organization. But remember that a student can choose up to eight from this list. Save that. Okay. Next, we have the employment information. So the employment information lists 
all the jobs that a student has participated. Nothing is too big or too small, whether you, a student has worked as a cashier or they've worked as a babysitter or a volunteer at their local church or religious organization, um, whatever the employment opportunity that a student has received, they'll want to come here and notate that. And particularly when you are creating a resume, the employment history allows an employer to see prior experience that you might have at a particular um, organization, as well as position, positions a student might have held, um, what those responsibilities might have included, and really how long you might have worked there. All that kind of great information is what an employer will want to think about. All right, so I put in my sample um, employment options for Zoe. She's worked at an ice cream and bowling shop. She uh, was a babysitter and she also worked at Starbucks as a cashier. So if a student again wanted to add new employment, they'll want to click add new. Again, a student can edit or remove anything from the My Profile section. Okay, moving on to the last and final component of the My Profile is certification. So if a student has any kind of certification, they'll want to be able to put that, notate that here, whether it's CPR or marketing or you name it, they can put that here. So we can add or edit, put in the name, the organization, the date, so on and so forth, all right? So now that we completed every section of the My Profile page, we're going to want to hit continue. So once we hit continue, that'll then take us to the next part of this webinar where we'll take a look at the resume builder. So remember again, all the components of the My Profile details help students organize and build their resume. So all of those components we'll see here on our resume and also on the final um, resume once we um, view it. So one key component of a resume that is here is the objective. The objective will help students kind of gauge, you know, certain things that they might have achieved, certain interests that they might have, and how well they might be um, a good match for whatever opportunity they are applying for. So, for example, I can I'll put in as an objective. So for the objective, I put in, I am a highly motivated student interested in business. I can definitely add a little bit more to the objective, but for the sake of this webinar, I'll just keep it very straightforward. So we have our objective and here now the student will be able to customize their resume. So a student can select or deselect anything that they wish to include or not include on their resume. So whether they want to keep, you know, all of their employment information, all of their education information, honors and awards, activities, so on and so forth, they can by easily just selecting or deselecting an option. So maybe, you know, a previous school might not be an uh, information that they want to in include. So you can just deselect that. And another note is that it's very important that the objective information ties into whatever information that the student chooses to display on their resume. For example, if I'm saying that I am a, a student that's interested in business, then I may wanna highlight employment opportunities or employment experiences, sorry, where I can showcase I was doing activities related to business. So perhaps babysitting is not um, related to my objective, 
So I can just deselect that. But perhaps working as a, as a cashier at um, this ice cream and bowling alley and this in Starbucks is a better way to show that, you know, I am very interested in business and I have, you know, previous experiences that um, highlight that. All right, so we'll keep our skills and our certifications. I think everything looks good. And then we can save it and title it just as an example. So a student has the option to create any um, various numbers of resume and they all show up in the view saved resume section. So these are all the resumes that I've created. So we want the one that we just looked at. So it's this one right here. You can either view or edit. So let's take a view of what that looks like. And when a student selects the resume, they can view it in either two styles, classic or modern. And then they also have the option to download it as a PDF or Word document. So this is a final look at the resume that we've worked on. Again, remembering that all the details that are on the resume are components of the My Profile details. So I have my employment information, education, activities, so on and so forth. But what if you know you have a student that perhaps wants to make a new resume? They can do that very easily in Misa Pathway by selecting the Start New Resume button. Or let's say that they um, have various resumes that they've created and they want to select a different one. They can also do that as well by clicking See All Save Resumes. So here we have a different resume with a different objective and different components of it. And I think, you know, the nice thing about resumes and having different um, versions or different components of it is that it really showcases that over time a student's um, interests and um, experiences and activities and skills will change and will evolve and, and that's okay. I think it's a, it's a good thing to be able to kind of look back and see, okay, what did I had in for my first resume and my second one and being able to see the progression um, is a very positive thing. And then we can look at see what this will look like in a different version, maybe modern. We have my name, objective, employment, education, honors and awards, activities, skills. But for this one, I did not select the certification, so it didn't show up on the resume. All right, the last and final um, component to MISA Pathway that I want to show is the site translation. So MISA Pathway is available in six languages. So students, can hover over to the top right and view MISA Pathway in Spanish, Portuguese, Vietnamese, Haitian Creole, Chinese, and English. And the nice thing too about the site translation is that most components of the um, site do translate. So for example, um, I put in Portuguese and we have our navigation bar, translated, we have the resume builder, we even also have the actual resume um, that is translated. There are some parts that are stagnant and will not um, translate, for example, like location or city or town um, or address, stuff like that. But for the most part, this is a very great resource. And we've um, have received great feedback from uh, many users um, who really enjoy the site translation. And it's been a very, very exciting new feature for sure. 
So I think this is the end of the webinar. Um, again, thank you so much for joining this webinar on updating a resume with MISA Pathway. Um, I um, will be able to, I will send a link to the, this webinar to all of the um, registrants. And I'll also include my contact information if you have any questions or um, comments or feedback. And um, I hope that everyone has a great day. Thank you.